I'll be demonstrating the development of a Twincat library using test-driven development and this unit by creating a library with just one function block. The function block will be implementing a simple moving average filter with a user-specified filter size. So here I quickly just demonstrate the basic concept of a simple moving average filter. And um, what we have here is just one value inserted into the filter and the average of just one value is of course the value itself. But if we add another one, it will be the, the, the two values added together divided by two. And if we add a third value, it will be the, all three values added together divided by three. And then if we add an additional value, the moving average filter will, yes, you can see move. The, and yeah, this is just the basic concept. So if we add another one, it will be those three numbers divided by three, and that will be the moving average. So the filter size is supposed to be, the filter size will be, it will be possible to configure it uh, yourself when you create, uh, instantiate the filter. As a next step, we will download and install the Twinkat unit testing framework library. So this is available at uh, this web address, tcunit.org, and you click download. And it's available uh, as either the complete source code or as a pre-compiled library. What we will be doing is to just to download the pre-compiled uh, library and install it on our machine. But for instance, if you click the source code, you get to the GitHub page uh, of the project. You can, so you can enter the TC unit framework here. So here is the complete source code so that you can clone uh, or download or even fork if you want to make some changes yourself. Or you can just click releases here and then you can download the pre-compiled uh, version. So we'll just save one, the latest version here, on our desktop. So this is this, a Swedish installation, so Skrivbord is, is a desktop on, in Swedish. Uh, save, and then we'll go to the, our Twinkat development environment, select PLC, library repository, install. And there you go, there you have your downloaded library. Select it, and it will install into the system. And there we go, so now it's installed. The next step is to create the actual Twincat library. So we'll be doing that by creating a new project. And we call it uh, TC Math, as yeah, this is a moving average filter, so we can maybe put other math related stuff in there. Okay, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I usually remove the stuff that I don't need. So safety motion C plus plus, and let's create a new PLC project, and I call this TC Math as well. All right, first we can start by adding the TC Unit framework uh, as a reference, which we have here. Okay, <clears throat> and now uh, there is a convention amongst developers uh, everywhere that any test code, any the test code related stuff should be put into its own folder called test. So we'll stick to that convention here in the automation and Twinkat world as well. So here is the, where we will be putting our uh, unit tests, our test suits basically. and. Uh, well, we'll be keeping our normal function blocks here. So we might as well create the function block for the moving average. So I'll just call it moving average here. And now we're not supposed to start writing the, the implementation code, but we can, or we should start developing the header. So we basically define the interface of what the function block is supposed to do. And in this case, we can get rid of this. We know that we will be needing some sort of uh, reference to a storage array where we're going to store all the values that we're going to do the moving average calculation on. And we'll also need to have a filter size. So when this function block is instantiated, the user needs to provide what the filter size will be uh, and a reference or a pointer to where the storage array. So we can create a constructor 
<coughs> or the closest equivalent to constructor that there is in the IAC world. And here we can add, uh, um, for instance, a storage array, so a pointer to long real, and the filter size, which can just be a unsigned integer. And this needs to be stored internally. So let's just do like this. So when this function block is instantiated uh, internally, we will be having the pointer to the array, to the array of uh, long reels and the, and the filter size, which we of course need to know in the moving average uh, calculation. Next, we can define the different uh, methods that the user uh, has to use to, to, for instance, basically what we only need is a, is a method to add a data point and a method to get the current uh, moving average. So let's just, let's do that. So what we can call this add data point return type and it should be public. <clears throat> the only thing this one should do is taking a value as input. Then we also need to have a method uh, get average for instance is a good name. So get current average or get average. Uh, yeah actually this doesn't take an input it just returns the current calculated uh, moving average. So that's that's all the interfaces we need. Of course, there's the moving average function block will obviously not work because we haven't done any of the business logic inside of it yet. But we have all the interfaces to start developing uh, our test, to start writing our unit tests, which will be our next step. Now that we have uh, our function block, that we can start to create our uh, test suite and uh, write our different tests for this uh, function block. And before doing that, uh, we need to have an environment to run our test suites in. Basically, uh, TC unit needs to have an environment to, to execute the different tests. And because we don't need this main program, because this is not an executable, it's it's a library that will be integrated into other projects that, that will execute it. What I usually do is that I just move this program to the test folder, rename it to program test. And this is where we will be instantiating our uh, test suites. So this program is the one that will be executed to, to run the tests. Next, we need to create the test suite and what I usually do is I create a test suite for every function block at least one uh, of course it's possible to, to create many many it's all depending on, on how you want to structure your tests and what the requirements for the tests are in this case it's enough for us to create a moving average test suite I just call it the same name and just add the underscore tests And uh, what we need to do is basically to register this test suite uh, to the unit testing framework. And that is accomplished uh, in uh, several steps, but basically we need to inherit some properties, TC unit, and say that this is a test suite function block, and it needs to implement an interface. And uh, the reason is it needs to implement these interfaces so that the TC unit framework has a pointer to this function block and can run the different tests for it. So it needs to implement TC unit dot runable test. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And it, when we, at some point, uh, we need to instantiate this function block. And when that is done, this function block needs to register itself to the TC unit framework. And this is accomplished by creating the in the constructor, just calling super, so the inherited function block, uh, and uh, register test suite, and this T 
this is just a, a thing that you have to do for every each and every test suite that you create. And then the function block itself needs to have a pragma defined. So it's this attribute call of the int. And that's it. We don't need any inputs or outputs. Okay, the next step is to create uh, an instance of the assert function block. The assert function block is the one that we're gonna use to actually verify that our function block under test, the unit under test, is doing what it's supposed to do based on some inputs that we get the expected outputs. So we create an instance of that, this unit assert. Now we can also implement the interfaces that, that we get from here. So implement interfaces. And now we can see we only got one additional method. And this is the method that the TC unit uh, test framework uh, calls once it is uh, running. So the only thing that this, what we need to add, so we need to add the implementation is basically make sure that we are calling all the different tests that we're gonna specify here. We'll get to that a little bit later. First, let's just instantiate this test suite that we have created in our program test, like this. So now when this is instantiated, the FB init is called and uh, the test suite is, is registered with the framework and because this test suite implements this interface, the framework uh, has a pointer to it as well. So it basically is it's just to create all these links between the uh, test suites and the unit testing framework. So let's go back here. The final thing we need to do is to uh, execute the, the framework. And this is done by just calling tcunit.run. Or yeah, if you don't want to use the namespace, just call run. I like it to do it like this more because then it's more obvious what's actually happening. So the next step now is to create our tests for, the, for this function block. And because we have the test suite, uh, we only need to create the different tests here now in this uh, in this test suite. 